Yo guys, what's going on? It's Savage here and welcome back to another video. Today guys, I am going to be giving you a cover 3 beater 1 play touchdown that you can go ahead and use to make your opponents break their controllers. Now unlike most 1 play touchdown tip videos on YouTube, I'm not just going to give you, okay, here is the setup for a 1 play touchdown. Because in my personal opinion, if you only have what, like the 1 play touchdown setup from this play, it's going to be very predictable and your opponent is going to be like, oh he's coming out in this play again, odds are it's going to be the one play touchdown that he ran on me earlier in the game and it's going to be really easy for your opponent to game plan against so not only am i giving you a one play touchdown with more than one setup to set up the one play touchdown and give yourself a very nice check down i'm also going to be giving you an actual setup from my ebook on savagemadden.com that you can go ahead and mix in there with the one play touchdown so that you are rather unpredictable from this specific play in this specific formation if you want to go ahead and dive deeper into that ebook, you can go ahead and check it out on savagemadden.com. I will leave the link in the description below. So guys, without further ado, I'm about to go ahead and show you this one play touchdown in the Oakland Raiders offensive playbook. I hope that you guys like it, all that good stuff. Smack a like if you find it helpful, and let's just hop right on into it. Alright guys, let's hop right on into it. The cover three beater, the one play touchdown in the Oakland Raiders offensive playbook. The formation we're going to be working out of is gun tight doubles and the play that we're going to be using is zig under. Now in order to get the cover three beater, the one play touchdown to work, you are going to need at least one slot apprentice receiver or the hot route master quarterback chem uh, because you are going to need the special corner route that the chemistry allows you to put your receiver on. Uh, the personnel that you should have, the slot receiver should be your fastest receiver in the uh, in the set so that you can go ahead and burn them over the top. But for the base play, however, which I'm going to show you first, the base setup, uh, you do not need the uh, route chemistry that you do need to set up the cover three bomb. So with that being said, the base setup, the regular setup is what you're going to do is you're going to max protect. You're then going to streak your tight end. You're going to slant the right of screen wide receiver and you are going to put your left of screen receiver receiver on a flat so there we are max protecting then we are going to go ahead put the left of screen receiver on the flat we are going to then go ahead put the tight end on the streak and we are going to slant that right of screen receiver once everything is set up we are then going to go ahead and motion snap that slant and we are going to go ahead and make our appropriate read now don't worry i will show you guys a slow motioned down uh process of this after i run this play a couple times with this setup so that you guys can fully grasp the concept of everything that you're supposed to be reading, how you're supposed to look against it. Remember, we are just going up against variations of cover three right here. Um, so with that being said, we kind of like know where the holes are going to be throughout the play. Uh, the great thing about this play, however, though, is you do have the flat, which is a snap throw. The motion slant is going to destroy man coverage. That post late destroys man coverage as well. The streak from the tight end is more or less a clearing of the middle of the field because that opens up the underneath. As you can see, it pushed that vert hook back so we could go ahead and throw the slant. And it also clears everything deep once it get, uh, once the streak obviously develops down the field so that we can go ahead and pass lead that slant to the uh, right hash. So with that being said, this play just gives you this base setup without any route chems at all just gives you a plethora of reads it's one of my favorite base setups probably in the game to use without any sort of route uh specialist chems uh whether it's hot route master on your quarterback i believe the only quarterback in mutt that can get that right now is kurt warner but there is quite a few of wide receivers who can get the slot apprentice chem so that should be very very simple for everybody who watches this video to obtain so let's go ahead and break down everything that we're actually seeing mind you like i said we are just going up against cover three so how we go ahead and you know diagnose a cover three is like very very simple uh, um, zone coverage is just so bad this year so a regular cover three is pretty bad so right here when i hike the ball you're going to notice the streak is pushing that yellow back uh we could throw this slant all day long the flat on the left of the screen however is covered we could throw the slant we could throw the slant now we notice the vert hook bites down back on that slant but at this point in time we have to make that decision do we have enough time to wait on that post that's coming from left to right or do we have to throw the slant we elected to go ahead and we moved around in the pocket just enough to go ahead and set our feet in a comfortable position to go ahead and pass lead that to the right side of the field with the left stick we just go ahead click the icon that we're throwing to hold the left stick to the right and we were able to deliver an absolute dime to fill up the reset as you can see we can throw that slant all day long only route on this field that we can't really throw right now is that uh post the streak and the flat but we have that slant all day long step up in the pocket we notice we got the double team on both tackles then we go ahead we drop back just a little bit 
just to give ourselves a little bit more comfortability so we're not too close to our center and our right guard. Then we go ahead and we notice right when the post passed that vert, we just go ahead, pass lead to the right, possession catch, we got a dot. Now let's just go ahead and say you're in the middle of a game, the base setup's been dot and been dot and been dot, your opponent keeps coming out and cover three from time to time, you're noticing your opponent's tendencies, you keep running the base setup, they're struggling, they're struggling, they're struggling, and you're like, okay, wait a second, I see one safety over the top, I really want to go ahead, and I want to go ahead and dial up the cover three beater over the top. So the big thing with cover three beaters, and everybody's going to tell you this, is you're going to run to, you're going to want to run it to the wide side of the field. And the setup for this cover three beater is so simple. You're going to max protect. You're either going to hitch or drag the right of screen receiver. Then you're going to put the left of screen receiver on a corner route, and you're going to streak that slot receiver right there, and you're just going to go ahead and let it fly. Now, obviously, I want to go ahead and show you that you can throw these check downs. You can throw that hitch in front of zones and possession catch it. You can, of course, go ahead and throw this drag drag, which I like the motion because it just adds that element of them thinking that you're running the motion slant base setup. That's a big reason why I showed you guys that base setup is so that you can incorporate this motion in there. So your opponent gets a bit confused in terms of, oh, is he running the cover three beater or is he running just the base setup? It's a great, great way to mix in multiple like variations. And that is what I love about Madden. And then when you're ready for it, you got the time, you go ahead, you let it ride, throw it up, touchdown. So now let's go ahead and break down everything exactly exactly that we see on this a little bit slower. As you're going to notice, we can throw this hitch right here. If we low ball that hitch, we can 100% throw it. But we notice we do have a stupendous amount of time in this pocket. That shed came in way too late. Does not matter for Tom Brady. We, I'm, I'm sure if that pressure wasn't there, we could have probably pass led it even more to the left. You always want to pass lead it to the left so it's out of reach of the safety. No matter how close to the football they actually are, it will always be out of reach. And that right there is money. Now, guys, that corner route you're putting on the field is one of the best routes in all of Madden. So let's say you go ahead, you come out onto the field, and you set up the cover three beater. After you hike the ball, you notice, oh, no, my opponent just got an instant shed. Or, oh, no, my opponent is sending the dogs at me. I'm not going to have enough time to wait on the streak to clear the over the top. Just go ahead and pass lead to that corner route. That corner route is so money. If you literally watch any one of my gameplays... All you do is hear me preaching about corner routes. The ones that the slot apprentices get and the ones that the QB hot route masters can get gives you a nice little speed burst on any one of those extra routes. So they cut so much quicker, whether they're running a post or a corner or whatever route you put them on, they get a nice little speed burst and you got to take advantage of that. So don't even hesitate to throw that corner route as it is one of my favorite routes in all of Madden. So guys, with that all being said, that was a mouthful right there about the corner routes. I love corner routes. Out, so I get really enthusiastic when I talk about them. I just want you guys to go ahead and take a look at everything that you learned. You learned two different setups for the cover three beater with the motion drag and the hitch. So that gives you two nice little check downs you can do. You have that sexy corner route as well that you can throw. And you also learn the base setup for Zig Under. So that is three different setups that you now know out of one play in Madden. And that is going to bring up a very funny point because I always see people saying, Yo, Sab, do you have fun running the same play over and over again? How is that fun? Well, normally I like to win. I don't know about you guys, but I have a winning mentality. If I am not winning, I am not having as much fun as I would if I was losing. So with this being said, hopefully you can actually understand that, no, I am not running the same play over and over again. Just because the play name is called Zig Under does not mean I'm actually running Zig Under. I am doing 50 million different things each play, and now all of you guys can too. So if you actually want to learn even more setups for Zig Under, under and you want to dive even deeper into this ebook which has other formations such as gun bunch trips tight end and single back deuce close you can check it out on savagemadden.com today i suggest that you guys if you are struggling on offense definitely give a look at the website because there are some free tips as well so yeah if you want to improve your game definitely check it out i highly suggest it because you know well you get to hear me my friend on there so uh yeah i love you guys so much and i hope that you guys do find this video informative if you guys did man smack a big fat thumbs up on the button comment down below if you struggle with anything i definitely suggest that you hop into a game uh with your with one of your friends and a play friend or hop into practice mode so that you guys can get the setups down kind of get the timing down on when to throw that streak kind of get pass leading down if you struggle with pass leading um if you do not know how to pass lead you just click the button that you want to throw to and use the left stick and it allows you to like lead the direction of the football in terms of where it goes so that it can be out of reach of the safety but 
in reach for your players. So, um, <laughs> I love watching the ball bounce off Philip Dorsett's head. But, yeah, I mean, pretty much, guys, that is going to wrap it up. Make sure, if you're new around here, to subscribe and all of that good stuff. Comment down below if you want any more tips of some sort. And, yeah, guys, have a wonderful rest of your night. As always, Rrr!